Muscle response testing is definitely a skill and it takes quite a long time, months really, and lots of practice to be able to become efficient at it. This is a demonstration to show you what muscle testing looks like. Also, best practice, like for example, explaining to your client exactly what's needed and demonstrating the whole procedure. If you're interested in muscle testing, then there are some great courses out there where you can learn to do it efficiently. David, I'm going to treat you as if you've never been muscle tested before. Okay. So let me explain a little bit about what muscle response testing is. So as the name suggests, it's testing the response of your muscle when we stim stimulate it. Mm -hmm. So we use the muscle as a biofeedback mechanism so there's always a message from your brain down your spinal cord into your muscle to tell it to contract and a message back again. So when we're testing a muscle, we're using this response and not how strong the muscle is. Okay. So it's not a test of strength here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting your limb, either your arm or your leg, in certain positions and I'm going to ask you to meet my pressure. Mm -hmm. Bearing in mind it's the message from the brain to the muscle and it's not how strong it is. Okay. So what I mean by meeting my pressure is that your arm won't move, my hand won't move, we'll be matching each other's pressure. Now, oftentimes what happens is the body responds to certain stimulus and you'll get a change in that response. So sometimes it might be that I test a muscle and or an arm and I ask you to match my pressure and it's easy to hold. And we call that a locked muscle. I might do something else. I might put something on your body or I might get you to think about something and test the muscle again and see what response your brain has to that substance. And what might happen is that your muscle might feel different. It might feel wobbly. It might feel as though it wants to go. So in other words, in that, instead of locking, what it will happen is it will feel as though it wants to go. Okay. Now, if it feels as though it wants to go, just let it go because the temptation is to push up harder. Mm. Mm. So if you can resist that temptation, mm. so either it's going to be really easy to hold, or if it wants to go, just let it go. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean bad necessarily because your muscle unlocks. It's just a combination of the, of the locked and unlocked that we're reading, okay? okay? So what I'm going to do is get you to feel what it feels like to have a muscle response in a locked state and an unlocked state, okay? okay. So let's put your arm in a position. So I'm going to test your anterior deltoid muscle just here. So I want you to keep your arm straight and in towards your body. And the range of motion I'm just going to show you is I'm going downwards and you're going upwards, okay? okay. So I'm going to say hold. And when I say hold, I want you to match my pressure. This is just practice at okay. the moment, okay? And hold. And hold. So that's easy, you're matching my pressure. Could you feel that? The arm wasn't moving, my hand wasn't moving. No. Okay. Now, what can happen sometimes when we're doing muscle testing is this, and hold, and hold. So in other words, and you can push up a little bit harder if you like, and hold. And, it, and the muscle wobbles. And this is something you want to avoid. And the way to avoid this is actually by Holding on to the person, obviously, if you're standing up, but the other way is to use your body. Because if you use your body, it enables you to get a much smoother test than if you're standing away like this and doing it like that. Much easier. So, David, I'm going to just go back to our demonstration. So I want you to match my pressure again and hold. Now, I'm going to put a magnet on the muscle that you're just using, okay? This is a North Pole magnet. I'm just going to place it on the muscle. And I'm going to ask you to match my pressure again and hold. Can you feel what happens mm. to it? Mm. If I take the magnet away, it locks. If I put the magnet back, it unlocks. Mm. You feel the difference. Mm. What's happening there is there's a message from your brain to your muscle, like we were talking about earlier. And it seems that a North Pole magnet will just temporarily confuse the cells in the muscle and therefore it doesn't quite know what to do for a second mm. or two. If I was to leave that on, it would just adjust itself. Mm. So that's the difference between a locked and unlocked muscle. So now I'm going to test just another muscle. This is a muscle just in your shoulder here. And this is the pectoralis major clavicular. So I'm going to get you to thumbs down 
at a right angle and the range of motion is pushing down and up. So you're going towards your opposite ear. Okay? And hold. And hold. That's lovely. So I'm going to put the magnet on. And there it goes. Can you feel the difference? You're going to be nice and easy to test. Thank you very much.